on SmackDown Live, Alexa Bliss had taken the championship from me and held on to it thanks to an alliance with somebody I never expected, Mickey James. Becky Lynch looking like she'd seen a ghost. Mickey James just handed that championship to Alexa Bliss. With Elimination Chamber coming up, I was hungry for some revenge. But at the same time, though, it was surreal. Mickey's one of the greatest champions of all time. I'd watch Mickey on Raw before it even started my career. I used to watch her and Trish and Lita growing up. So yeah, I, I'd kind of looked up to Mickey James in the past. By the time Elimination Chamber rolled around, those days were over. Big match here tonight for Becky Lynch against the veteran Mickey James. This is huge for Mickey James. A lot of people are wondering if she's still got it. What's she gonna bring to the table? Well, think about Becky Lynch, Renee. Think about how this would propel uh, her shoulders oh, down. Huh? Another close call there. Think about how this would propel Becky Lynch's career to another level. This is shoulders a moment. down again. This is a moment that Becky Lynch has been waiting for. These women just oh, 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 all, oh. all over the ring. Yeah, rolling yeah, oh, yeah. right outside the ring now. Still locked up, Becky and Mickey. Here we go, Becky Lynch, Mickey James. Two generational talents colliding. These two ladies better watch the count. Time to get back in the ring, ladies. Focus. Becky standing toe to toe with Mickey James. Both women back in to break the count. Both these ladies back in the ring, squaring off. We just saw a stalemate between Becky and Mickey. Neither woman is looking to back down. There's a lot they want to prove to one another. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Oh, Ugh. could knock her arm right out of the socket. Uh-oh. Lynch looking to destroy the arm. Camel clutch locked in, fighting for survival. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. There's the crucifix, nicely done. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. He's dismantling that arm. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Ooh, Becky just aggressively going after that arm. Look at this. Shot block. Becky Lynch showing no sympathy. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Oh, boom. Oh, oh swept the leg right out from under. Effective arm drag. Peggy Lynch said on the kickoff show that she's been watching Mickey James matches to prepare for tonight. And that there goes to show how Becky Lynch does have tremendous respect oh. for Mickey James' talent. Becky might have done her due diligence in preparation for this match, but it still seems like Becky wants to act like a pioneer of the women's revolution, when in fact, Mickey James was leading revolutions before they were even a cool thing to talk about. Oh, oh. axe handle. Mickey James shows there's nothing that can take away from experience. So many times a world champion, so many big matches. As good as Becky Lynch is, I think the experience edge goes to Mickey James. Well, sure, for the experience edge, but something has to be said for the fact that she's been gone for seven years. Even when the great number 23 came back to play basketball, he had some rust to dust off wearing that 4-5. Well, if this Mickey's wearing the 4-5, she's not here to play games with you. She's here to aim at you. She'll probably maim you, even blow you to smithereens. Three! Delivering the suplex. Four! And she's back in the ring now. Five! 
The question that has been posed all week is, does Mickey James have a right to think she has something to do with the women's revolution? Listen, Mickey James probably feels a bit jaded. She probably has years of pent-up frustration from not being that woman in the spotlight. With all the women that emerged during her absence, Nick Here comes the man! Becky Lynch is rolling. The Irish last kicker fired up! Mickey's come back and feels that everything Becky has accomplished, she should be thanking her for it, like Becky didn't earn it on her own. I mean and this has got to be it. Nope. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. The WWE Universe in Phoenix is behind the Irish last kick. Hoping to see this match end with Mickey James in the disarmor. That's going to be a difficult challenge for Becky to pull off. The veteran Mickey James knows how to use every part of the ring to her advantage. Mickey has truly been a all the way. Mickey James was able to get out of there. Perhaps took a little too long there. Indecisiveness can often come back to haunt you, Michael, as we saw there. Becky Lynch taking what she wants. Not sure how long she can keep it up, but she is fired up right now. Grand Elimination Chamber with Becky Lynch and Mickey James looking to settle their difference. Look out! Missile drop kick! That'll cost some teeth. Hit the mark with that one. Oh, God, Lynch looking to destroy the arm. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. Systematic attack on the arm for Becky. And again! There's some extra vitriol in Becky tonight. You can tell she's carrying a mission of vengeance in the ring. Yeah, that's the kind of attitude you can expect from Becky after Mickey cost Becky the championship. Having that title is the most important thing in Becky's life. And Becky believes that her road back to the championship starts by slapping Mickey James back to the pack. Lynch. Becky looking for the disarmor. Can she put Nikki James away? Almost got her. Ring. Almost got her position. Oh, Nikki counter. Great counter. Shoulders down. Becky rolls through into a pity combination. Back up. 